You know, I'm kind of surprised that this topic has not been talked about in more videos on YouTube. And I'm kind of wondering, is it because people don't want word to get out that this program exists? Hmm. Hey all, welcome back to my studio. My name is Ricardo and I'm a UX designer at Google. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about a topic that I'm shocked that there are not a lot of videos about on YouTube. I get a lot of questions about alternatives to university degrees that are more flexible. And I think we all know about boot camps, online courses, but I haven't seen this alternative being discussed at all and what i'm talking about is apprenticeships so there are companies out there that offer apprenticeships where you not only get paid but you're also learning about the track that you're enrolled in and it turns out that google has one of these apprenticeships and they have apprenticeships for a lot of different tracks so it's not just about ux but they do have a specific ux design apprenticeship available in the united states so let's talk about what is the apprenticeships i have the website pulled up here but essentially an apprenticeship is a work study program you are going to be gaining real life work experience while also enrolling on courses while you're in the program. And what's great about this program is that it's really structured. There are already courses prepared for your particular track and the content of the course that you're enrolled in applies directly to the work that you are doing in your actual role. And it's structured in a way where you can actually work and study comfortably. You're getting the best of both worlds. You don't have to pay for the education. You're actually getting paid while you work and study, which is awesome. So if we scroll down, you get an overview of the program. What's really cool about the apprenticeship is that there is no degree required. You don't have to have experience. Actually, they don't want you to have experience. You shouldn't have more than 12 months. Let's say if we're, if we're looking at the UX track, you shouldn't have more than 12 months of experience in UX. So this is great for folks that want to try UX and want to get experience and see if this is something that they would enjoy working in full time while they work. This is perfect for people that graduated from a boot camp, people that are transitioning careers, and also it is a very inclusive program so if you have different background if you're from an underrepresented community this is something that will be a great opportunity for you because the program is constructed to be inclusive of people from different backgrounds google as a whole is a very inclusive company this is a great perk because you will be supported while you are enrolled in the apprenticeship so what is the goal of the apprenticeship well the apprenticeship is meant to prepare you for junior and entry level roles after the apprenticeship is over. You will get exposure to different Google Teams. You will get the educational component that I talked about. And you will also get career coaching while you are in the apprenticeship. So really, you are basically getting on the job experience and getting prepared to apply to jobs after the apprenticeship. And keep in mind that the apprentice apprenticeship, oh my god, I'm saying apprenticeship that I can't say anymore. The apprentice Shit. is 20 months so it's actually a good amount of time like you'll get at least one year of experience so what's the eligibility to to apply well you really just need a resume and then you need to have a strong academic performance in your background. It doesn't matter the level. If you were in high school, if you were an undergrad, they want you to have a strong academic performance. And then since this program is available in different countries, you need to be able to speak a language of the country that you're applying for. But really all you need to apply is your resume. That's really it which is amazing because the process itself is going to be, you're going to apply, you're going to talk to a recruiter and then you're gonna have a different set of interviews. But really it's all about assessing how motivated you are for the program, why you're excited about it, what you're trying to get out of. So it's really not a difficult process. You don't even have to have a portfolio, which is amazing because they're not expecting you to have any experience in UX. So you don't even have to have a portfolio. It's all about your resume and your background, which is great. This applies specifically for the US but something else that's really cool is that you end up getting a certification at the end of the apprenticeship because this is actually a certified program. So you will get a certification for the educational portion of it and that you completed it. And then they talk a little bit about the program structure. So you will be paid hourly and you will be expected to participate 40 hours a week. So full-time job. It says on here that you'll have a three-week 
virtual onboarding experience and the host for the courses that you will be enrolled in during the apprenticeship is called Multiverse. So you can check them out on the website. I'll link the website in the description below. And then after the onboarding and the bootcamp part of it, you will have workshops throughout the program to keep engaging and learning as you literally work at Google. This is, this is awesome. I think this is like an awesome program. And unfortunately, when I was starting my UX journey, it didn't exist. I think this has been going on for maybe two to three years. So this is a great opportunity. And then you can see down here, there are a lot of different apprenticeships. So this is also something that you can consider. Maybe you want to try something other than UX. You can literally look around and see what picks your interest. And you can filter by the country. And then you can also filter by the profession that you want to apprentice under so all of the options are in here and then there's some quotes here from former apprentices that give you some insight into their experiences which is really cool and then if you keep scrolling down there's an entire faq section with a lot of great questions around the program and eligi eligibility the documents that you need. So this is definitely a great resource. Again, it doesn't seem like the applications are open right now for UX design. So I would go in and look to see if they open later in the year or if they've closed down for this next cohort. I, I have the, the feeling that it's closed for the next cohort, but there are other companies that have apprenticeships as well. I've seen Amazon have UX apprenticeships. I've seen Pinterest and I've seen Facebook as well. So definitely take a look at all of these companies because let's say that you don't get one through Google, there are other options out there that you can check out. Also, this is a great alternative to the UX certificate, or even this could be a great pair with the UX Google certificate. If you want to learn more about UX, internships, how much UX designers make, check out my playlist on my insights about the UX design career and some of the things I've learned working at Google. So until then, I will see you all in the next video. Bye.